Good morning, everyone. Um, today's book, we're continuing on our main theme, which I know I said was, I was just going to do for this week, but I may do it for next week as well because I have lots of nice books on main or by main authors that I want to read to you guys. Today's book is The Amazing Journey of the Lucky Lobster Buoy by Carol Hayes. You see her artwork? She has some amazing artwork, and I want you to pay attention in this book because this book is set up a little differently than some of the books we read, and it's pretty cool. In a small boathouse at the edge of the Atlantic Ocean, Tim, the son of a lobster mission, fisherman, carved his first buoy out of a block of wood. Is there a house on the coast of Maine? He painted it red and green to match his father's buoys and added his phone number on the handle. Then he painted on the number four. Four had always been his lucky number. When his sister remarked that the rough surface of his buoy looked like a face, he added eyes and a mouth and named the buoy Lucky. Tim was very proud. He thought that the lobster buoy, le like no other, had to be the lucky lobster buoy. And from the beginning, his buoy was lucky. Tim's lobster trap was always full. His buoy was lucky all summer. In his painting... Here's his lucky little trap. Until one day at the end of August, when the lucky line was cut by a boat propeller. No. Here it is, cut by the propeller. And then look, it's showing us. I'm going to switch sides so I can see better. Here, lucky gets thrown out by the boat propeller. And then there's two seals chasing him. And then... They're these boats, sailboats are surrounding him, and he's floating by a big beacon buoy. You see all that happening? Now Lucky was alone with the setting sun and the outgoing tide. How pretty that is. Oh, there's so many things happening to Lucky. Look, he's floating along. And we can see, without words, we can see that he's floating by this fishing boat. And we can see down here that this fishing net was catching way out and catching fish in their net. But they only caught one little fish. See it? But look, there he is in the net. And the net is there again with all kinds of fish. Once he got caught in the net, he was so lucky that he brought in all those fish. This is number four. And look at the guy's smiling face saying, oh, thank you, Lucky Buoy. Then he throws out his net again, and he's still got his lucky buoy there, and look at all the fish they're catching. Look, and then the water's getting rough. It looks like a big storm is happening. See the rain and the wind in the picture? And over goes Lucky the lobster buoy into the storm. And the next page, what's happening here? Okay, look, he's floating along in the ocean, and look, here comes a big ship. Really, really big ship. Oh no, look, it's gonna hit Lucky. Oh no. See the big cruise ship passing by? Seagull? You think it broke him? You think it hit him? Oh no, look, he's been pushed underneath the water. Look, these kids are swimming. See, you can tell they're underwater swimming because look, this, this person is floating on top up here. And there's Lucky. Hmm, maybe he is lucky after all and he's going to get saved. The next page. A girl in her towel is bringing him inside her home and he's got a fancy dinner party. Look, they're all in their suits. They're on the cruise ship. See, she's holding it and showing it off to her friends and they're casting it out and they're playing games with Lucky. Some more games. Oh, and they're playing catch. What's going to happen? He gets thrown overboard. Oh no! Like he's going through quite a journey. Oh, and the next page we can think what's happening here. There goes the cruise ship. You see it way off in the distance? And then what's happening? The little line they tied onto him? Look! The shark got it and he stole it away. Away swims a shark. Wow, look at that big old iceberg. He is traveling a really, really long ways. 
think you'll get back to the boy. What is that? Look, what's got him? Polar bears. Oh no, they're chewing on him and they're playing with him. Oh no. Oh, but the ice breaks and he's floating away again. There's that ice chunk floating and the polar bears are watching him go. Hmm, now what's happening? Oh, what is going on here? Do you guys think? What does that look like? Hmm, I wonder what that is that he's inside. With all that water, maybe a cave? Or look like it looks like a whale to me pushing him along. Do you see it? See that's tail and a big old whale pushing him along? Now where's he going? The whale let him go. See the whale's back here and he let him go. And he's pushing and this is a nice beach. Oh, and he's washed up on the shore with two more people. I wonder if he'll ever get back to his boy. Huh, look, those people are looking at it and they're reading what's on Lucky and seeing his smiling face. They get into the phone booth and they call the number. And look, the little boy's gonna answer. So they're fixing his paint and they're putting him in a box because they live far, far away from the little boy. The little boy goes to the post office, see, right here. We're at the post office, the little boy and the girl. They're mailing it out. See the mail truck is going? And it looks like, if you look at this picture really close, he's all the way in England. Great Britain. He gets on a plane, this lobster buoy. He's flying, now he's on a mail truck here. But that looks like the coast of Maine to me. See it? Lucky eventually made it back to Tim and he retired from lobster fishing. There he is with Tim. He made it back. I don't think Tim's gonna let him go out again because it was so long that he was gone. Tim often wondered about his buoy but he knew he would never know all that happened to Lucky on his amazing journey. He's got him hung on his bed, see? All hung up on his bedpost. He's not going back out on the lobster boat. The Boston Times Lucky Lobster Buoy Amazing Journey. The London Herald Lucky Lobster Buoy Crosses the Atlantic Ocean. The end. Look at all those news articles about that buoy. Isn't that cool? All right, guys. So this book is a pretty cool one. And I love that it makes you use your imagination and look at those pictures and those context clues in those pictures and see what's really happening to the poor little lucky lobster buoy. All right. I will see you again tomorrow.